Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to ask you what your favorite bullion coin is. Now, let's forget about in terms of investment side of things, because for me, living in the UK, it would make sense to, to say that the best bullion coin is the Britannia, simply because it is capital gains tax exempt, so therefore it'd make more sense in terms of an investment to solely stack these coins but in today's video i don't want to talk about what makes more sense i want to talk about what is your favorite looking bullion coin to stack now it might not be any of these coins here it might be the kookaburra or it might be the krugerrand but let me know what you personally would stack day in day out if you only had the choice of one bullion coin to stack what would it be now my least favorite coin has got to be this one right here, the Philharmonica. Many of you love this coin. I've seen a lot of love for this coin. Now I've seen someone's video recently and they only just found out that this is not a, in fact a bank because it looks like it's a building, like a bank or something. It's actually a an organ, which makes more sense because it goes with the musical kind of theme of the coin. But yeah, I'll tell you why my least favourite bullion coin to stack is this coin. It's simply because of the smooth edge. I just can't get my head around this being a coin. It feels more like a round. I don't like the smooth edge. If this was engraved, now that's a different story. If this had an engraved inscription around it, some, some sort of text, this could potentially take the win. The win. Because I really, really like coins like the like the old Libertads that have the engraving around the edge. I think it's a really cool feature. But because it doesn't have that, it just doesn't really appeal to me. So this is going to have to be my my least favourite bullion coin to stack. And I only really got this whole tube of them because it was a, a nice price at the time. Now, this is still sealed. This is a American Silver Eagle tube you can see it's still, still sealed and i'm not sure exactly what year these ones are but i do really really like american silver eagles if i had to pick over design i would say the american silver eagles over the britannia which again is quite controversial because i know that the britannia is a very very popular bullion coin a lot of people like the security features on the britannias i understand why they like it so much because it is a gorgeous coin but i do think the american silver eagle in my opinion looks better because it's bigger it's not got as much going on which i quite like i quite like with the american silver eagle it's a bit of a kind of concaved type effect when you're holding the coin it's almost dips down in so it kind of pops when you look at the design so I'm not a huge fan of the Britannias either. Now, like I said, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know which is my favourite bullion coin to stack. And that is this coin right here. Now, the maple. Now, I'm not particularly a massive fan of the older ones. I do prefer the ones that have got the kind of radiant lines and things like that on them. But by far, for some reason, I just really, really like the silver maple and if i had to choose one bullion coin to stack for the rest of my life and all the other ones were going it would definitely be the maple just because i think they are such nice looking coins and let me see if i've got any to hands that have the newer design on them there we go look at the difference look how much it pops just by having them small kind of lines and stuff on the background you've also got this small security feature here like a miniature maple makes them harder to counterfeit but yeah i think the maple silver maple coin is an absolutely gorgeous piece of silver i've got another tube here let me see what if this is one of the older style or the newer style yeah so we've got another newer style here absolutely gorgeous coins really really like the silver maple as you can see let's take them all off and i'll put them in order of my favorite and then let me know in the comment section if you would put them in any different order from what i've done 
And like I said, it's quite nice to do a video where I'm not talking about the financial side of things and the investment side of things. It's quite nice sometimes just to strip it all back and just look at how the silver looks and appreciate the designs. And I think quite often we get caught up in the financial side of things, but sometimes it's nice just to appreciate the designs. Now, I haven't got an American Silver Eagle to hand, but you know what they look like. But in my opinion, out of these four, my least favourite to stack would be the Full Harmonics, followed by the Britannia, then the American Silver Eagle, and the winner, like I said, would be the Maple. And that is purely based on design. Like I said, in kind of financial investment purposes, it would probably make more sense to me to go for these because they're capital gains tax exempt. But in looks wise, the maple just really does it for me. Such a gorgeous piece of silver. Some people don't like this. When I did that video of my partner going through my silver stack and picking out which ones appealed to her, this was the one that appealed to her the least. She thought it looked really boring and plain it's just a leaf in the middle of a coin but there's something about it that i really really like so yeah let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below as always thanks very much for watching a bit more of a kind of relaxed fun video just talking about the looks of silver it's quite nice sometimes instead of getting so caught up on the premiums and the prices and and all the rest of it so as always thanks very much for watching and i hope you have a nice day also, I've just taken these bits out of those tubes because I'm guessing these are just put in those tubes when they send them so that the coins don't rattle around. But I'm not sure how good the coins will look after this polystyrene or plastic sitting on it for kind of 20 years. So, yeah, I've just removed all these now. I didn't think to do that before. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section. Do you remove the plastic that kind of holds top of the tube if you don't know what i mean this is basically when they arrive quite often you get a bit of polystyrene or something in there between the coins and the capsule just to kind of protect it in transport but yeah like i said i don't know how well the top coin will look after that sitting on it for a long period of time so i'm going to take them out i've just done that for all of those tubes that i got out for you to see today so yeah there you go let me know what you think about that as well as always thanks for watching